Okay, I want to talk about business ideas. Um, I've had a few people give me a half half thoughts. Um, they put together. I've got this business idea, and it's not. It's a business plan. Uh, a business plan with no actual product. It's just a business plan. I can produce business plans, and in a probably in a lot better depth than you can. Uh, not out of thinking I'm better than you in some way, but I actually do um, assess quite large contracts. Um, I have to put together uh, sometimes the the cost of an entire maintenance program down to how many engineers it needs, what equipment they need, what vehicles they need, projected cost for the next three years, five years, seven years, ten years. I, you can get the picture because um, I have to make sure the contract is viable. Um, I also work out how many man hours are needed per piece of equipment and calculate how many engineers are needed for the whole project. So from that point of view, um, I don't need to see a business plan. I'm not interested in the business plan. It's the product. Now, let me put something here that was brought to me yesterday. This is somebody's business. Um, they actually sell this internet package. Um, it's 10 meg internet unlimited and it works out about 10 megabit down but depending where you are it could be 6 um, but it's a lot more stable than the system I've got on my wired telephone. The other thing with this is because it's 3G um, it doesn't actually need a landline. So this is about the same cost as my landline but at the same time, I still get my phone, router, etc. But because it's on a dongle, I can take this and shove it in the van. So if we're going out, I can actually take the entire phone system with me. It works all over the place. It doesn't just work in your house. It doesn't just work in this area. It works for the whole of Spain. So from that point of view, it's a very good product. The other side has been it's on 3G, and I know some people are going to go, oh yeah, but 4G's out now. Exactly, everybody moved to 4G. This is actually undersubscribed now, so which means the internet's fast because there's less people using it. Um, so this package is actually quite viable because it's not just the fact that it's got UK TV. When it says UK TV, what they mean is an IP TV box. You have to buy the box separate, um, but that's not an issue. Um, there's a package just for the TV, there's a package for internet so although that's 50 that's including your landline and everything else which is not a physical landline it's actually um, one that runs off the Wi-Fi system uh, but the reality is for the 50 euros a month it's not a bad, bad deal um, so what's my point well with this the guy brought the product he's then asking me how the product can be sold because there's different ways of doing it and this is what I'm talking about if I understand what you're selling I know how to put forward the ideas to get this selling the first thing is multi-level marketing you could actually get lots of agents in different areas and get them to do the work next one is social media marketing you can actually push this a lot on the internet quite easily because uh, it's a product that everybody uses. Next one is um, using the call center. That is something we're actually looking at as well. So the reality is, because I know the product, I can sell it. I know how it can be sold. I know how to make it start to make some money without too much investment to get the money in so that we can increase our advertising campaigns um, and marketing campaigns so that is how you should bring an idea give me a blank sheet and go well I've got this idea but I don't really want to talk about it and everything I'm not interested even if it was the most fantastic idea because you can't be bothered to sell it to me or won't actually make the idea available it is it's not worth our time You've got 100% of nothing right in front of you right now. At the end of the day, if the idea is viable and good, even if I'm not interested, I may be able to help you. 
For example, say there's a guy in China says the guy down the road makes USB sticks. I can get them at this price, but I've got no idea where to sell them. First thing I'd ask, can you put a logo on the side? Well, yeah, I could put any logo you like. Okay, here's a guy on LinkedIn that actually does stationery for corporations. He will buy them off you in bulk. Now, you may not give me any money off that idea, but it, for me, it's a very simple idea where I just turn around and say, speak to this guy. And I move on because at the end of the day, I can't sell that product. eBay is very, very cheap on USB sticks. So unless you actually guarantee me that it's a high quality one and hasn't, you know, it's got some factors that make it better than a cheap Chinese one, it's a difficult product to sell. They're easy to sell on eBay and things like that, that's what I'm saying. But if you're sat in Hong Kong or whatever, set up an eBay account. You don't need me at all. And I, that's a prime example. You, there's a lot of stuff you can do direct. It doesn't need me to be input. And I'll quite happily turn around and say, you don't need to get me involved. Just do it yourself. It's not hard. If you can't invest a day learning how to set up an eBay account, then you shouldn't be in business. That is how to bring ideas forward. Blank sheets, waste of time. Don't need a big business plan, projections and all that sort of stuff. Because if the project is good enough, there's multiple ways to sell it. For example, say you've got a product that's not on the market yet, but it's huge potential with Walmart or somebody else. Don't even bother manufacturing it. We'll have a look at how we get it into those supermarkets and just get them to buy the idea or get one of their suppliers to buy the idea. Just take the money and take a commission off every single one. You don't have to get involved in manufacturing. There's a lot of stuff that people do by mistake. Um, now, this brings me on to the English school stuff. The English school stuff could be quite a large project. Um, so, there's a couple of things I'm looking for. First one is an SEO guy. If you're good at SEO, I'm not talking about just little dribs and drabs. It's got to be being able to push emails, harvest email addresses from specific groups. You've got to be able to push them in uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, everywhere. Um, to get the product out there, get in touch. Is there any go? Is there going to be any pay on this? The reality is, this is a group project. The group project is shared profits. As simple as that. You know, I get the same cut as everybody else. You know, we. I'm not sitting there taking 70% or whatever. If there's five people involved, then we all take 20% each. It's as simple as that. But the SEO guy needs to be pushing it online. The guys developing the courses have to be developing the courses on a regular basis. The people dealing with trying to get clients uh, from the corporate world, etc., have to be putting their bit in. But we need somebody on the SEO side and somebody to work a bit on the website. So that because I, I'm struggling for time at the minute, but if we can get a couple of guys on the software side, and I think we we've, we've got about three to five people that actually want to do the teaching side, but there's a bigger picture that will develop over time because I want to take this just from the teaching initially and start doing courses on all sorts um, doesn't you know could be welding could be um, teaching people how to drive you know and I'm not I'm not talking about physically them sitting there with a the steering wheel going left and right I'm talking about getting them through the written tests and stuff like that there's a lot of stuff we can be doing and there's nothing stopping us doing it. It's the same with the health and safety executive stuff for the UK. You need to work in the UK on the construction site and in most service sectors now. A CSCS card. Now this just says that you're, you're smart enough not to kill yourself. Um, allegedly. Now complete, for me I, I think it's a complete con but at the same time everybody's got to have one there's a book for this doing a course on this teaching people how to do the course how to get through the course there is money in that because a simple course like that you could charge somebody say a fiver you say a fiver for a course a fiver only five pounds yes but how many of these cars get issued every year because if your course is good and actually helps people they may use it every time they need one. I think this renews every three years. When's this one up for renewal? 2029. 
Yeah, so it's about, well, about, yeah, it's well, about 10 years or something. Um, it's less than 10 years. Okay, so I can't remember when I actually got this. Um, but the point being is, there's courses for things like that, where you put the course together, shove it online, and then people can revise for the test, because they can actually do some video interaction, because it's much better than a, a book that you get. Because, yeah, I think the book's about 12 quid. Uh, but the book's sort of that sort of thickness, but it's not a lot of use because it's boring. Um, actually having some interaction in some stuff where you're actually helping people. I think some companies would even pay the fiver for these um, because you're going to pretty much guarantee them a pass because what you do is you put all the stuff in the um, all the stuff that's in the book into actually a course for training people and then you turn around and do mock exams at the end so that you know that they're, they're passed. If they, if they can't pass it the first time revise them on the stuff that they failed on because you can automate all this by the way you don't have to physically do it if they only got like a 70 percent pass rate and it, they failed on scaffolding they can review the scaffolding section again and then retake the test until they pass something like that very simple idea that's an idea so this is the thing with the website stuff there's a lot more to it and we've got some stuff that we're going to be put together very very soon so if you're looking at becoming an English teacher online we're actually teaching a course on that very soon we're also doing another course on the TESOL so we'll actually certificate you and there's some other courses that will actually help you with things like phonics and other things because I noticed with some of the students I've been teaching out of Vietnam there is a lot of um, problems with the speech because they don't exist in the Vietnamese language you know there's a lot of letters and stuff they struggle with so there's entire courses to be built on that now you see how this can expand out quite rapidly this is why I want to bring in somebody for the software I want to bring in somebody for the SEO stuff and once this starts running everyone gets a cut of the big picture um, I can't make any uh, fairer than that because the reason I'm putting it forward now is come three four months and we're, it's starting to make money you're not going to be able to get in simple as that you can do your courses and stuff and sell your courses on our system but you will not be able to get in on the ground level where this is actually going to start going up from um, because a project like this done right could be like a lynda.com um, could be very big quite quickly uh, with the right people involved okay thanks for watching